what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be a lawnmower video as requested because a couple people have asked about it and the video i posted about it it got some views not a lot but i did get some questions on there and i'm gonna try my best to answer all of them today this is the one month 10 hour review as you may or may not be able to see right there 10.0 hours on the dot uh, she has been running wonderful. She's due for her first service now. I need to go on there and change the oil and do all that new motor stuff you're supposed to do. Uh, so I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons because 10 hours on a mower is not a lot by any means. But it's enough for me to give you an understanding on how this machine works and if I like it or not. Because believe it or not, within 10 hours you'll know if you like a machine or not. Uh, so we're going to go over what it is real quick. This is the 2021 later model Kubota Z422 model uh, it's a 54 inch deck it is an entry level commercial grade so it is commercial and it's got a what I believe is a 24 horsepower Kawasaki FS 730V it might be 23 and a half something weird like that I believe it's 24 horsepower uh, but it's got the good old Kowalski engine so you know that's good uh, tires They've been pretty good, but I did have a problem. Uh, the tires that come on this machine, when I first bought it, I was concerned because the tires were narrow, and I was thinking, man, it's not going to do good. It's going to spin up. But compared to my dad's uh, higher model, obviously, uh, John Deere 54-inch commercial gray zero turn. I don't know what the model is on it. It's like 727, something like that. But uh, his is wider rear tires, and it still spins out easy. So I was really worried when I saw this. But this lawnmower weighs on. All, it weighs over 600 pounds less than the John Deere. The John Deere weighs 1,900 and something pounds. This one weighs a whopping, it says right there, 1,338 pounds. Now, that's pretty lightweight for a lawnmower, believe it or not, if you ask me. So, therefore, these narrow tires do all right. They're not, I haven't had any major problems with spinning out. They actually, it does better than my dad's John Deere with the wider tires. I'll take it or leave it. Uh, it does. It's a fact. Tires are narrow. That's no problem. Now, one thing the John Deere came with that this one didn't that I really liked was solid front tires. I wish I had solid front tires because in the first four hours of this machine, I had a little tiny piece of glass and put a hole in one of these tires. Now, luckily, I was able to patch it. Normally, that tire would be ruined because they are pretty thin. But these are uh, all right. So I did fix them. I patched it and it's still going. Now some other things I wish I had the, I wish I had the John Deere here to compare because the John Deere is a 2016 model It's basically the same as you know the new ones, but I got an 05 John Deere sitting over there But it's not even a comparison. It's a totally different machine, but The 2016 John Deere there is a couple things that are just really behind compared to this mower and 2016 2021 I know that's what six years apart or not quite whatever it is five years apart uh, the John Deere is exactly the same still, to my knowledge. Uh, if anything changed, please correct me. Uh, starting off, fuel gauge. That's way better design. Uh, full or empty, you can see the freaking tank. There is no needle to go bad, no float to go bad, nothing like that, like the John Deere has. That'll go bad. Um, another thing, this seat uh, is way more comfortable than the John Deere. Way softer, the position's better. You sit down here, it's so much better. This is a spring-loaded seat. The John Deere has that as well. Um, okay, another thing compared to the John Deere that I like, this cup holder is 10 times better than the John Deere. The John Deere is way too shallow. You can't even, I mean, you can't even really put nothing in it without it falling out. So this right here is definitely the way to go. You see that road in there just fine. Um, there's the tire tools. Uh, the John Deere has no other storage. This thing has this little storage bin here for your trash, your cans of dip whatever you want to put in there you put in there some more drinks snacks whatever uh so that's really nice you have that option um another thing popping these guards off to clean your deck is way easier on this kubota than on the john deere your cap they just take a socket and you take them loose the john deere you got to pop them off and break the plastic uh the emergency brake excuse me parking brake on the kubota is very simple it's foot actuated see very simple the john deere you gotta reach down and pick up yeah it's no big deal but that right there is way nicer to, to my belief uh the deck razor raising and lowering the deck is way better on the kubota push it in 
comes down. Push it in, stays up. Push it in, come down. Push it in, up. The John Deere, you gotta push, hold, and twist this. There's a little lock uh, mechanism on top. You gotta twist that in order to let the deck down and hold it up. Uh, this thing seems to crank up better than the John Deere ever has, which I know is kind of relevant to the mower because it's basically the same engine. It's kind of an engine problem more than it is the mower. Uh, the John Deere, though, however, when you cut it off, there's a delay, which, I mean, it's no big deal. It's just annoying. You cut the key off, and it runs for like three more seconds. Uh, the hour meter stays on on this one forever for some reason. Uh, changing this is way nicer. The John Deere, you got to hold the deck up to adjust it. This one here, you ain't got to hold your foot on it. You just change it however you want, and then put the deck down to it. Uh, all this is obviously basically the same as John Deere, no difference. Uh, being able to reach it, it's all in the same position pretty much as John Deere. I can't remember how the gas thing works on the John Deere. Pretty much the same as well. Uh, this right here, I like that. Obviously, it's the same on every mower, but I got my bungee cord rigged up right there. I can take it off and wire it there to there, whatever, when I don't need it. Uh, what else can I think of? Let's see. I did a bunch of mowing with it already. I, I'm not a landscaper by any means so i'm not really i'm not gonna be putting a ton of hours on this thing uh it cuts good yes very good i like it uh looks wise i guess you could say the john deere does look better i always like that yellow and green uh and it just looks beefier this thing right here that's probably where the other 600 pounds comes in the frame on this thing is a lot thinner than the john deere but then again we are comparing two totally different grades like this is entry level commercial my dad's is the 727 or whatever it is is more of a pro 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 grade you know this back here is way more open on the Kubota exposing way more stuff compared to the John Deere but therefore also making it easier to get to everything uh, the battery in here is very secure and easy to get to the solenoids easy to get to relay whatever solenoid that's solenoid way easier to get to than on the John Deere um, I don't really know anything about changing oil I ain't done that yet uh, probably all works about the same same engine anyways or close close to the same uh, but overall very happy with the mower raising raising and lowering this right here it's not a hard task whatsoever pull that pin if these are any bit loose you can really you can jam it up see it's loose now you can raise lower whatever you want it looks a little bit better like this i believe uh seat belt i never used it so i couldn't tell you if it's comfortable uh the blades that come on this thing, I'm going to say are pretty good because I've hit some pretty gnarly stuff. And you can see they're pretty much perfect still. Close to perfect. Uh, one thing compared to the John Deere that I like is this thing right here. See how that deck doesn't move hardly at all? When you're hitting bumps or whatever, this thing doesn't make any noise. The John Deere is so clunky sounding and it's just bam, bam, bam every time you hit a bump or every time you do anything. Constant annoyance. Uh, I'd imagine parts and everything's cheaper for this compared to the John Deere. Which, if you don't know, John Deere's basically just turned into a name. Uh, everything on it's on the John Deere's got China wrote all over it and engraved in steel. This thing's mainly United States and Japanese. That's the main, you know, the main course of the meal here. Which I like. But it is about ugly, I think. Kubota's are pretty ugly. Uh, the seat kind of fixes it up, makes it look pretty good. Now, the Skags, I don't know much about them. I haven't looked at them a whole lot, but. They do seem pretty nice, so I wouldn't mind having a skag. Uh, I kind of, I've always kind of liked them, but you know, didn't get the opportunity. Couldn't find one around here that I liked in the price range, so went with one of these. And also, I just know Kubota's good, and I like the dealership I got this from. Same place my dad got his Kubota tractor from. Uh, but that's about it with the mower. Uh, we'll move on to something else real quick. We'll talk about a few more things. If you have any other questions, anything I missed please let me know down in the comments below and i will try my best to get back to you and answer uh if you guys are interested i can make some videos on that truck let me know down in the comments below uh the suzuki the big red the gold ford if you want some tractor videos i can show you that uh m6060 kubota 63 and a half horsepower i could give you a review on it i can give you a review on the 6.2 liter gas engine that ford makes um i mean i can do all kinds of stuff so whatever you guys are interested in just let me know four clip videos tons of forklifts uh whatever it doesn't matter just let me know thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and also don't forget 
I got a little secret I'm going to put at the very end of this video right now because I don't know who all still is listening. The real ones that stay here even after the review and stay tuned through everything. The secret's just for you. I put a deposit on a 2021 Honda Rubicon 520 DCT. Uh, the dealership showed me they're not going to be getting in any of the deluxe models with the dark brown like what I wanted, like what Braden Price got. So since that's the case i decided to get the olive green so i've got an olive green 2021 dct rubicon with power steering uh it's at it's at the lot but i'm waiting until i'm 18 so i can start building my credit with it get a cosigner and all that good jazz so i did put a deposit it is mine to count on that coming august i will have the rubicon so that's when the video of the rubicon will start coming and all that will start pumping in and we'll be able to make stuff great again and then my friend josh i know i told you in the last video or two that his was coming in in a few days because he was getting one he's getting a 2021 deluxe foot shift i don't know if it's called a deluxe but it's that nice new metallic green uh deluxe or foot shift rubicon with power steering he he bought it uh didn't come in on the truck like it was supposed to but it's on schedule for may 28th so towards the end of the month beginning of uh june uh be expecting videos of that um anyways well, that's another good thing we'll have two 2021s foot shift and deluxe or i keep screwing it up a foot shift and a dct that we can compare and i can give a rundown review and we can do multiple tests you know comparing the dct to the foot shift which would be very good so that's great so anyways hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe put down in the comments below what you want to see next if i miss anything on this let me know thanks for watching